Ben is one step ahead. Amber's lawyer has failed in tricking the judge about the op-ed. The tricks and games from Amber's side just don't seem to end. The humiliating loss at the defamation trial has not put Amber off, and she is desperate now, trying to get the verdict against her overturned. And for that, she is crossing all limits and boundaries. But even these attempts seem to fall flat on their face, as Depp's legal team is always aware of their next moves and are countering them every step of the way. So what is the latest development in this trial, and how has Amber's team failed yet again? Keep watching to find out more. Just over a month after Amber Heard lost her defamation trial against ex-husband Johnny Depp, the actor's lawyers have moved the Fairfax court to set aside the verdict against her or order a fresh trial. According to reports, Amber's legal team has said there's no evidence to substantiate the $10 million in damages she has been ordered to pay Johnny. In the court brief submitted by Amber's legal team, they argue that Johnny's team proceeded solely on a defamation by implication theory, abandoning any claims that Ms. Heard's statement were actually false. The brief also claimed again that Amber was unaware of the headline of her 2018 article. Ms. Heard never even became aware of the headline until Mr. Depp filed the lawsuit against her, the brief read. Courthouse News also reported that Johnny's legal team dismissed the appeal. In an email, his lawyer Ben Chu called it what we expected, just longer, no more substantive. From this, it is clear that Heard's team tried to trick the judge into believing that poor Amber was not even aware of the headline before Depp's legal team filed for defamation. But this obviously is untrue, and it was proven weeks earlier. Amber Heard could apparently not sustain the high-pressure cross-examination from Camille Vasquez. The Aquaman star, in between her 30-minute session with Johnny Depp's lawyer, confessed that she wrote wrote the 2018 op-ed in the Washington Post for her ex-husband. In the article, Heard identified herself as a victim of domestic abuse. The actress previously stated and maintained that the op-ed was not about Depp. The only one making the op-ed about Johnny is ironically Johnny, she said during the trial. While under intense cross-examination, Heard replied to a question saying, I know how many people will come out and say whatever for him. That's his power. That's why I wrote the op-ed. I was speaking to that phenomenon about how many people will come out in support of him and will fall to his power. He is a very powerful man and people love currying favor with powerful men. That is not all. According to this tweet from Amber, which reads, Today I published this op-ed in the Washington Post about the women who are channeling their rage about violence and inequality into political strength despite the price of coming forward. From college campuses to Congress, we're balancing the scales. It is very obvious that she was well aware of the op-ed and who it was targeted at. And she has admitted to it through both her actions and words. And Depp's lawyer, Ben, has used this overwhelmingly evidence against her in his reply to this motion. Johnny's team has always been one step ahead of Amber's throughout the course of this trial, and this is just another example of it. That is all for today. Give us your thoughts in the comments below. Has Amber been caught red-handed again? Don't forget to like and subscribe.